When you first get your meter, what you'll want to do is discover what the current settings are. The way to do it is we press the two outer buttons simultaneously. We let the sign of it come through. When we see parameter set, we click enter. We're going to enter 0051. This button and this button pressed together will cause the cursor to move to the right. This button alone will increase. Now we're going to push the button, the cursor to the right. Whoops, I like left. Five. Right. One, two. Right. One. <laughs> and we're going to press the two buttons together. And it'll now allow us to view the language, which we don't care about. The com address. The language is the first one. The com address is the slave address, slave ID. It's going to be 21. We can't change it, but we can view it. And it'll make it look like we can change it. 121. It won't take it. If we click and enter again, it'll remain as 0021. This is because we entered the password of 0521. There are five levels of passwords. So enter, and we can look at the baud rate 192, 384. We can see what's available. In here, we look at the baud rate, sensor size, flow unit. Here are the flow units that are available tons per second, tons per hour, liters per second meters per hour, cubic meters per minute, cubic meters per hour, tons per second. The flow range, we can set the flow range based on the units. And you can set the flow response, the four seconds for this one, let's slow it down. Flow direction, forward or reverse, you may want to change that at times if, the, if you're pumping flow zero. This drives the uh, DAX and everything. The flow cutoff, what what percentage it'll call it zero the cutoff enable it's either enabled or disabled and we have the total unit it is it can be in cubic meters tons and you can set the multiplier for each one so we're in cubic meters so i'm going to set it to one cubic meter it's going to set be wherever it was so hit enter and we can hit enter to view it it's at one cubic meter right now Enter density, the density is set at one ton per cubic meter. And the sigma, we don't really care about this analog type, it's four to 20 milliamps, which is the standard. Pulse type, you can either have frequency or pulse. Now I'm pressing the right button. Pulse type, it can be um, uh, the max frequency, 5,000. And so these other valuables, high alarm, you can have alarms. You can have it enabled or disabled. It's going to be sticking whatever it is. And what the value is, 95%. And then low enable, the value, 2.19%. System alarm, enabled or disabled. And the uh, alarm can be set uh, for the purpose of the entire system alarm. Clear some key, sensor code one, two. We don't really care about a lot of these. The sensor fact is written on the side of the meter. If you ever mess this up, you just look on the side of the meter and enter the same number under coefficient on the meter. Enter password one, you could change the passwords, but you need a high level of password. Analog zero, this is driving the DAX. Analog range, this drives the 20 milliamps. Meter fact, this is the factor of the meter. Meter code, check, mo check mode, this is parity. So this is no, right now this is set at no parity, one stop bit. That's unfortunate, that's further on. So there we go, that's about all we need. We are at the end. The way to get the meter back running to normal, hold. And there we go.